on the other side of that Democratic ticket, Bridgeport Mayor Joe Gannon was the other contender for governor. The past few months, he was relentless in his attacks on Lamont. News 8 Scott McDonald is live in Bridgeport with more from Gannon headquarters. Scott, quiet there. Yeah, it just got real quiet here. The music just ended, but uh, Joe Gannon did enter to music from the movie Rocky. We know he sees himself as a fighter, um, but uh, it did not go his way tonight. Gannon took to the podium, said that he called Ned Lamont earlier and uh, congratulated him on a hard-fought and spirited victory. Talked a little bit about the obstacles he and his campaign had to overcome, um, not getting any public campaign financing, not getting enough delegates to get on the primary ballot, needing to get over 15,000 signatures to get on this ballot tonight. But turning the page, he moved forward and talked about the Democratic Party coming together, banding armies for Democrats to win coming up in November. Here's what he had to say. Take a listen. We moved forward with an agenda that said we wanted to fight and will continue to fight in the struggle to improve the quality of life for everyone in this state. And I will tell you this tonight, that fight does not end. <laughs> what happens in this great democracy, what happens with the Democratic Party is we come together. And now we become part of a... Okay, now we'll tell you this. After that, uh, Joe Gannam, I will tell you this. After that, Joe Gannam was pressed on whether or not he would support and endorse Ned Lamont. He was pushed on it, and he said he would. He said, I planned on reaching out to Ned Lamont to come up with a meeting uh, for game plan moving forward. And you will remember that was a point of contention. In their last head-to-head -head debate, Ned Lamont was asked if he would support Joe Gannam. If Joe Gannam won tonight, uh, Lamont's answer to that was probably not. Uh, Gannam then pounced on it and launched a bunch of uh, TV ad campaigns with the hashtag, probably not. Uh, obviously, in the end, that did not have much of an impact tonight. In the end, though, Joe Gannon was really hoping for a big second chance from Connecticut Democratic primary voters, and he just uh, did not, did not get it. So that is the latest from here. But as you heard from Joe Gannon, he plans on moving on, banding together with the Democratic Party and showing his support and endorsing Ned Lamont moving forward into the election coming up in November.